In Utak, we constantly strive to enhance our product to meet your evolving needs. Introducing our kitchen display feature where it allows the cashiers to streamline orders directly to Kitchen's View. The key benefit of this feature is an enhanced communication between front end house and kitchen for a smoother operation through real-time order updates and more printer allocations, as this feature allows you to have separate printers other than the cashiers. Let's try using it in three easy steps. First, ensure that you have a separate tablet and printer setup. Access your Utak POS account from that tablet, and from then, we'll call this the KDS setup. Ensure both tablets are always connected to the internet. From here, let's go over the settings and turn on kitchen display. Then, on the left side of the screen, click on kitchen screen. From this view, go over the KDS settings on the upper right corner. We can now assign a new printer from here to print out our order tickets. Once done, both cashier and kitchen can communicate seamlessly. Let's try to do sample transactions here in pay as you order setup. As an example, this would be the order, adding a note of extra spicy on one of them. Now say that this order is already paid for, punch it as a sale, and from here, our post order tray we can see different buttons. We have two options, either we print it out on the order slip connected to the cashier's tablet or it could go straight to the kitchen. Let's try doing that. So here, I'm writing who owns this order, then click the kitchen icon. Once you've sent it, the chef's hat turns into a check mark to note it's successfully sent. Looking at the KDS, let's break down what we're seeing here. Right on top, we can see how many are on queue. Order number appears here because it's a pay-as-you-order transaction. Whatever note you wrote on the kitchen note also appears on top. Notes for each item also appear. There's also a running timer on top to tell you how long has it been since the cashier has sent this ticket to your view. Total quantity also appears for easier viewing. Now, the printer icon below can print out an order slip when necessary. Notice when I was able to print out, the icon turned gray to signify that I was able to print it out already. This is for you to reduce repetition. However, don't worry, this icon can still be clickable should you need to reprint. And lastly, if the dish has been served, go ahead and click done to remove it from your pending tickets. When the time comes, say for example, there are 10 orders on queue, you can swipe left to see all the other tickets. If ever, there will be multiple orders in one ticket, you can also swipe up to see all the other orders. The same is true now when you use KDS for park orders or what we call the pending bills. Let's try punching an order to be paid later after meal. Say they'll be ordering these. Let's add a note here as well. And don't forget to add your note for whom this order is for. Once that's done, we can go ahead and send it to kitchen. And from our KDS view, we can see the note for which table this is and all the other data mentioned earlier with the difference that when the order is a parked order, there will be no order slip number. The same is true when we keep adding orders for this table. Every order is equivalent to a new ticket. And lastly, let's try doing it with customer database. Let's do the same things earlier with the addition of tagging the order to a customer profile. Once we send that to our KDS view, the name and notes would also appear. And basically that's it. To summarize, Uta KDS allows you to communicate with the kitchen through the kitchen button on the note that both tablets are online. Here in Utak, we value your suggestions and we make it happen. Should you have more suggestions or clarifications, reach out through our Facebook group chat. Happy selling!